What do you know, I finally found a use for this obese bastard failed go tanks. This guy actually isn't too bad, his cost is only 6, so it makes sense to bring him. And plus it's plus 3 key to fucking 5, which is pretty ridiculous, honestly. This, this card is pretty good. And uh, other than this guy, I'm bringing Bardak, uh, UR, I'm also bringing the UR 5 Super Saiyan 2 Goku, because he gives 5 type key plus 2. And he also gives SDR type key plus 2, which is irrelevant. Uh, but because I have the, what's his face, uh, fucking fat ass, uh, he's only 6, and then the friend is only 6, and then I also have the cell, which is only, I think, 8 or some shit, so I'm fucking bumping, bro, I can bring two URs, I got that Super Saiyan, Bardak, and I also have, uh, fucking this Goku, which is, they're good, they're, they're not really damage dealers, but, eh, they're fucking, they, they do something. Alright, they're going to get the job done. At the very least, uh, it'll be able to seal this nigga super and then nuke him with Super Saiyan 2 Goku's doofoo foo foo Kamehameha. Which isn't the worst, but it ain't exactly the best either. Alright, here we go. Zoom out. And we're off to see the fuckboy named King Vegeta. And by the way, if you did not take advantage of the double drop rates during the one year celebration, I'll pray for you. Because this nigga took super long to get the SA-10 the first time. I took advantage of those double drop rates so I don't have to fucking sit around like a fuckboy for those foo-foo doo-foo card drops. I know niggas were getting drained with it on the cold, on the uh, King Cold event, so I'll pray for you. But I'll tell you right now, dude, I think out of all the super straight teams I've had, I feel like this setup is fucking the best. And I've got a, I got a low-key beast, bro. I got a SA-10 Dufu regular 5 Vegeta. And these guys are actually surprisingly good. The, the, uh, the strike has only been around, I think, either, either, yeah, twice. It's been around at least twice. I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to remember if it's been around more than twice. Because the first time it came around, it was during the beginning of the World Tournament, so no one used it. But they're actually really good because they only cost six and they actually do a lot. Like they have a lot of good links, the the field uh, go tanks. And here's your boy Super Saiyan Gohan. I actually have a shit ton of these Gohans in my box. I'm trying to get them to SA10, my uh, Phi one. Shit is painful, painful as fuck. So here we go. And I got my boy Perfect Guard Fuckface here. Uh, although I'm tempted to just. I don't know. I'm really tempted to just say fuck it and just go all out with my boy Vegeta. Yeah, you know, some, sometimes it's all about having fun, you know. What are you going to do? All your life you're going to be careful? Oh, get the fuck out of here. Who gives a shit? Fuck you. As you can see, SA-10, he hits like a fucking tricycle. It's amazing. Okay, too far. Okay. Fuck. Yeah, but uh, I was actually... I didn't even remember that the strike was coming. I was just, fuck, what was I doing? I was doing something. And I was I was listening to the radio while I was just doing some preliminary shit with Grep. Which is pretty good. If you, uh... I'm trying to remember if you use that. Uh, hmm. I can't really remember if you use that on a, on a, like a high school level. But it's something called regular expressions. Actually... I'm gonna sound like a fucking cuck nerd, but it's actually really fun, like, I don't know, just, uh, it's just the fact, like, Linux was draining me at first, but now it's, it's kind of fun, I mean, damn, I sound like a fucking cuck, but, like, it's kind of, it's kind of fun the way that, first of all, it's a new environment, meaning it's a new OS, I never used Linux before, um, but it's pretty cool, honestly, Linux is pretty cool. I like the command line arguments. I like how you can do, like, the same thing with two different arguments. I know, uh, I took an exam today, and he wanted us to use cut, and I think negative D, negative D, the, the command to see if, um, in context of cut, which is delimiter, uh, to basically take something out, but what, what I like even more is in, in grep, there's something where... I think it doesn't, I think there's two ways to do it. The way I did it, like, just now, just testing it out, gave me energy. 
because um, the way you do it is that you basically set something as the beginning, and then you set something as the end, and then whatever is in the middle, you will then find. So say, for example, if you have a word that says, I eat ass, you put I as the beginning, ass as the end, and then in the middle, you, you just take whatever, and eat will pop up. It's pretty cool. Regular expressions are pretty fucking cool, and they're... They're pretty much, uh, they're pretty useful, especially in a Linux context. Um, I never really used them in C++. They exist in C++, they exist in Java, uh, or usually it's regex, but holy shit, dude, I hope, oh my god, please, my nigga, my nigga fucking uh, Cell Jr., please put in work, bro. Will I, will I be able to survive, I don't think I'm going to be able to survive this. A 30% knockoff of 13? Yep, good thing I'm good at math. Alright, I'm back to correct the mistake I made. Let's take this red one. What's well, good is that you can basically keep the Goku and Bardock together so that you never ha really have an instance where you don't get to seal super. Ugh, but, yeah, like I was saying, you know, having a good old fun time with regular expressions and Linux. Even like small things in Linux, like, what well, put me in Izanami, like, in order to, uh, have a file be where you can read it, where you can write to it, or execute it, um, you need to do, so it's a chmod, so you modify, and then you do 775, for example, and that basically changes the parameters of the file, it's just, it's cool, dude, you get to use the command line, I'm, a, I'm finally a full-fledged hacker, I can finally fucking hack into the the goddamn White House and figure out if Barack Obama really is the Antichrist. Um, hmm. I wonder if I'll survive this. Yeah, I think I will. Uh, but, but I'll tell you what's not fun is, uh, before I dual-booted Linux, well, actually, after I dual-booted Linux, I found out that there's a bash shell in Windows 10, and I was using Windows 7. And I'm like, alright, that sounds kind of cool. So I, I installed Windows 10 just because... Fuck. Fuck, bro. This Vegeta's a low-key drainer. I wasn't expecting him to fucking drain this much. Uh, still attack. We're going. Uh, I use this. There we go. Looking good. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I fucking installed Windows 10, a.k.a. dog shit. It's so, dude, Windows 10 drained my fucking will to live. The only reason I did it is because I just wanted Ubuntu. I think it's, yeah, I think it's the Bash shell in Ubuntu on, uh, Windows, which is our, it's not even that fucking good. Like, just, just for purposes of files and changing things, it can be inconsistent. And, bro, like, I, all I, bro, just install Windows, I go to use something, uh, I go to, like, I watch a video. No, no audio comes out. What do you know? My fucking audio driver died for no reason. I'm like, all right, let me go reinstall my fucking um, audio driver um, from the website because they provide the audio driver. And it's like, no, no, Windows knows better than you, boy. We are, uh, and basically Windows provides the driver, so you got to go through Windows. You fucking update it, and it kept doing it over and over again to the point it got it drained the shit out of me. So, I don't remember what I did, but I did something and I fixed it. So, if you have the same problem, you're welcome. I gave you a solution. I don't fucking know. That's the solution. And another thing that drains me about Windows 10 is fucking the application's new. Well, you know what? I gotta be honest. There, there are some good things in Windows 10. I'm not gonna front, okay? There really are some good things. Um, for one, the fact that you get the option to um mount something and use it immediately instead of using like a fucking some foo-foo iso that's actually pretty good um other than that that's pretty much it fuck it i mean i just i hate the layout hey, everything about it but i don't think you can even go from windows 10 back to 7 and keep your files in the same format i know you can like make 7 and have like windows dot hold or whatever the fuck it's like, ah, oh, fuck you, dude. That's why, bro. I miss fucking Steve Bomber or whatever the fuck his name is. I think it was Steve Bomber or Arnold Palmer, whatever that nigga's name is. I remember, uh, this was a while ago, but 
Microsoft was having like some show, and Steve, I think it's Steve Ballmer, if I'm wrong, then who gives a shit, he wanted to Aizanami, bro, he's like, he's like, yo, man, you know who matters? The developer, the developer, the developer, the developer, the developer, the developer, and he's like super sweaty, and he's like, he's in a different jutsu, man, fuck, bro, what is this guy on, but I'm like, you know what? Low key, this guy gives me energy. That's like uh, what put what puts me a good jutsu is all the fucking the jokes regarding computer science or math. Like I'm pretty sure I mentioned this before, but there's some guy on YouTube who does mathematics without real numbers. Like he just he's like, there's no reason to ever use real numbers. The only reason we use real numbers is because we're scared not to use real numbers, which I don't even I don't. I don't even know what to say to that. That guy's in a different eyes than Ami. And another thing that's Jutsu is, um... Fucking... What's his name? Oh, my God. Oh, no! There's... Oh, man. This reminds me. There's some guy, right? He... Okay, this is gonna sound like a monk. But there's basically something with uh, programming called object-oriented programming. It's, it's for... Th it's usually used for things like uh, GUIs or... Pretty much fucking anything it's basically an object you create it it's a custom kind of variable that's abstract and you can mold it and use it to whatever you need um oh fuck i hope i killed this guy yeah and dude this guy made a whole video series about how like he's like objects should not exist there's no reason for these to exist programming is programming and he's super and it's always these fucking people are super creepy bro like you can't be like well object. And he's like Objects have no place. They should not be here. Only true programming should be there. And then I'm like, fuck. I'm like, bro. You're a nuker. All right. And there we go. That I snapped out of it just in time before I went even deeper into the autism. Um, uh, so there you go. We got Vegeta with a beard. A.K.A. Vegeta from GT minus the beard. I don't know why the fuck they didn't give Vegeta and GT a beard too. All he had was that fuckboy mustache. Uh, nigga looking like a fucking Italian pizza master. Pizza master? Pizza chef? Whatever the fuck they're called. But yeah, I'm gonna have to get 14 of these. And then after that, I'm gonna have to get 14 of the other ones. So, fuck it. It's gonna be a nice, slow week. But, it, if you're planning on getting LR Goku, you need this fuckboy. Because, uh, he's one of two int units you can actually have on your team. So, there you go, you got Majin Vegeta, you got your autism, you got everything wrapped up in a bundle. You know me, bro, I'm always bringing you that good-tism, that good shit, that new-new, that crap, but huh?